Okay, you can see now that I have removed that outer layer with the endoskeleton off of two of the arms and the central region. So now we can start to see some structures. Now, some structures started to cling to the inside of that endoskeleton, so I had to very carefully lay them back down and they got a little bit destroyed on this side, but that's okay. I always do two arms because pretty much every arm is exactly the same. Repeat of five different things uh, in every arm. So I do two arms so that I can show all the structures uh, with only two arms. All right, so let's start with this arm here and I'm gonna zoom in just slightly. That's probably good. Okay, so I can see this structure here that is the digestive gland. And it is normally attached to this region right here, which is the stomach. They have a couple of different stomachs, but for our class, we can just call it the stomach. And I have accidentally cut it open uh, by cutting in, you know, by removing the uh, endoskeleton here, but this is the stomach and then the digestive gland. So I see on this arm as well, there is the digestive gland, but See, I really massacred it on this side. So I'm gonna remove the digestive gland from this side. Ugh. Okay, so that's just digestive gland. And maybe I'll remove this one as well, just so I can get a little bit more visual of what's going on underneath. Okay, so I like, that's why I like doing two arms is that now I can see one with and one without digestive gland. Okay, so up here in the corner, can you see these little structures right here? Like, kind of, not really. Right here. They actually look like little clusters of grapes. And I know they're kind of that red color, like everything inside here is. Uh, but those little clusters are right here and right here. Those are the gonads. I can't tell if it's male or female. And the size of the gonads, uh, they can get larger if, the, if it's going to be the season for spawning. Remember, they have external fertilization, so they're going to release eggs and sperm into the water. Shall I say eggs or sperm? Uh, into the water, and so uh, if it's season for that, then the gonads will be quite large and extend into each arm. So they're going to have it on each side of each arm. So I kind of consider that to be the armpits, where the gonads, and then the digestive gland is much larger. Okay, zoom out just a little bit. Oops, sorry. Okay, so other features that I can see here. Now, uh, it was actually very nice. So I do still have the madriporite right here. And if I take a little peekaboo, right? So I kind of gonna take the stomach and move it aside. I can see part of the water vascular system. It's not, oh, there it is. Amazingly amazing, but I like it. Okay, I'm gonna need, everything's kind of goopy. Get my tweezers in here. Okay, so can you see this white going, it's the same color as the madriporite and this white structure that goes down here. So that's the stone canal. So water is going to enter in through the madriporite and it's gonna go down the stone canal. And so I was very careful when I was cutting so that I did not break the stone canal. Oh, look how cool that is. I kind of have to mess up the stomach to really see it. Okay, so I'm kind of ripping and, and, and wrecking things. Oh, look how beautiful that is. Okay, so it's going to go madriporite, stone canal, ring canal I really can't see, and then it goes from ring canal to the radial canal. The radial canal I can't see either. The radial canal is underneath this ridge, which is called the ambulacral ridge. But then water is going to travel down each radial canal of each arm, and then it goes into these pink squishy structures. <laughs> these pink squishy structures are called the ampulla, and they're like a little bulb. And so that if they get squeezed, then when they squeeze, water shoots down into the tube foot, and the tube foot is right on the other side. So let's turn everybody over, and now take a magnified look at those tube feet. So the tube feet are these guys here. See them? They're individual and there's like a little suction cup on the bottom of each tube foot. Okay, madriporite, stone canal, ring canal, radial canal, ampulla, tube foot. Okay, 
Uh, as far as digestion, you're going to have mouth to the stomach. Digestive gland is going to add in enzymes and such to uh, digest that. Some of that can travel down the water vascular system for dissolved nutrients, but then waste out the anus. So not a super complex creature for being a deuterostome. Okay, and gosh, that's everything. Hope you enjoyed the starfish. There he is.